consider another important principle in microscopy, which is resolution. So, apart from the fact that microscope would enlarge an object so that you get a very large image, the very essence of that enlargement for that magnification to be useful is that it should be allowing us to see things we didn't see earlier without that enlargement. And the ability of a microscope to bring new details into focus is what we're considering as resolution. Technically speaking, resolution is the ability of a microscope to enable you to see two objects that are separated as distinct. That ability of the microscope to allow you to see that two things which are separated by a distance are distinct. So if it allows you to see that two objects or entities that are separated by a distance are different entities, then that is resolution. So in a more practical sense, Resolution is the ability of the microscope to allow you to see new details that you wouldn't have seen otherwise. So, that is it. But one very confusing issue regarding these kind of discussions is the subject of limit of resolution. So, assuming two things are separated by a certain distance, you can be able to see them as distinct. If you bring them closer, the more closer you bring them, the more difficult it becomes to see them as distinct. You would bring them closer onto a point in time where they are almost joined. At that point in time, it is difficult for you to be able to see them as separate entities. The job of very powerful microscopes is to be able to separate those very closely um, spaced objects or entities for you to be able to realize them as separate entity so for example in a cell which is very very tiny then just imagine the distances of separation between the cell organelles but the microscope is able to resolve and make them separated so you can be able to see them as individual entities now this is limit of resolution that distance of separation that distance of separation that can exist between two entities for which it will be permissible to see those two entities as separate. That is limit of resolution. What is the smallest distance of separation for which we can still be able to see those particular entities as separate and distinct? That is limit of resolution. So ladies and gentlemen, the limit of resolution of the eye of a human being is 0.1 millimeters. What that means is that the person with the best eye cannot see two things that are separated by a distance less than 0.1 millimeters. It means that the limit that can exist, the, the smallest distance that would still be permissible for you to view two things as separate should be 0.1 millimeters. And that is the limit of resolution of the human eye. So, what is the relationship between limit of resolution and resolution? Inverse proportionality. But note that most of the times we use limit of we use the term resolution and resolving power interchangeably. But those two will be directly opposite to limit of resolution. And so this is what it means: the smaller the limit of resolution, the better the resolution. So, limit of resolution and resolution are inversely proportional. Limit of resolution and resolution are inversely proportional. And so, if you have two microscopes, microscope A and microscope B, microscope A has a limit of resolution of 1 micrometer, whereas microscope B has a limit of resolution of 5 micrometers, then in that particular consideration, microscope A, which has, has a limit of resolution of 1 micrometer, is a better microscope in terms of resolution or bringing new details into focus than microscope B, which has a limit of resolution of 5 micrometers. So the next discussion will be about the factors that affect resolution, and we'll consider that in a very separate tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel.
and share to your friends. Bye-bye.